And that's how you announce a new GPU. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Titan X. Eight billion transistors. The first, G the first chip we designed, the first graphics chip we designed called the Reba 128 was four million transistors. Four million transistors. A small difference since then. This is eight billion transistors. The team did just a fantastic job. 3,000 CUDA cores. The highest single pre precision throughput of any GPU we've ever created. It's designed for single precision. It's designed with a 12 gigabyte frame buffer. And as you will see in just a moment, the reasons why we made such choices. For people who want double precision, we still have Titan Z. Titan Z is still the fastest single card double precision GPU we have. The Titan X is the highest performance single precision, the largest frame buffer, the most advanced GPU architecture ever created. This is all based on Maxwell. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Titan X. Now let's take a look at what Titan X can do. This is work that we're about to show you that was done by a company called Epic. Epic is a long-term partner of ours. They're a game engine company. They are the game engine you choose if you're developing a AAA title. Now, the, the animation you're about to see is completely in real time, and it's running on one Titan X. Everything you're about to see is real time, running on one Titan X. It captures 100 square miles of 3D graphics. Literally 100 square miles of 3D graphics. Basically, the entire Silicon Valley. You're not going to see Silicon Valley. You're going to see something a little bit more beautiful. 100 square miles. 15 million plants. You're going to see 15 million plants. This entire terrain was photometrically scanned because no, it's, it's impossible for artists to have captured landscape that beautiful, that great. Any given frame is 20 to 30 million polygons. Everything is in HDR. The camera effects are beautiful. You're going to see physically based rendering. The rocks look like rocks. Water looks like water. The shadows are beautiful. You might even notice some rim lighting on, off the shoulders. This animation, this rendering, real-time graphics, is the most beautiful that's, that I've ever seen. And this is just incredible work by the team at Epic. I love their work, and they've just outdone themselves yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at it.
Titan X and Unreal Engine 4. You know, if you take a look at that and you just reflect on the best cinema effects that you've seen over the last 20 years, uh, that rivals it. And that helps you understand where this industry is going and where we are going. It is the case that we will continue to advance the future of computer graphics, make it more beautiful than ever, more wonderful than ever, to the point where stories could be told that way. That story was simply impossible to tell without the advancement of computer graphics. We're so excited by the work. If you just take a look at that, it just takes your breath away. I'm amazed by the work. Titan X is more than graphics, though. Titan X, because of many of you, many years ago, helped me realize the importance that it could be used in a new field of computer science. Some people call it machine learning, evolved greatly, now it's called deep learning. We're going to talk a lot about that today. But one of the things that we did was focus on this application and continues to advance it. It was discovered in the year about 20, probably about 2010, um, about five years ago, maybe even six years ago, when some of the work that was done at Google led to some work that was done at Stanford um, with our engineers and our researchers discovered that it's possible to put deep learning and these deep neural nets on GPUs. And we discovered that the acceleration of training, which takes utterly months, it takes months to train these very complicated networks with a large amount of data, we could accelerate it dramatically. We were able to achieve in just a week's time what non-accelerated platforms would do in several months at the time. Well, since then, we've all made a lot of progress. Even if you compare it against the highest end CPU with a 16 core, and most researchers don't have 16 cores by their side. If you had a desktop computer, you had six, maybe eight cores. But if you had 16 cores, training the now famous AlexNet took 43 days on a CPU. A Titan that we introduced a year and a half ago or so is able to do it in literally a week, from a month and a half down to a week. Now, when you speed something up by a factor of two, uh, speed something up by a factor of five, when it took a few milliseconds to do, that's important. But when you speed something up that took a month and a half, and you reduced it down to a week's time, it could be the difference between your willingness, your ability to actually do the work versus not at all. Titan was able to reduce deep learning training to about a week. We then introduced a new middleware called QDNN. With all of our engineers, we found ways to improve the mapping of these convolution networks onto our GPU's architecture. That middleware is called QDNN. It's been downloaded thousands of times. One of the most popular middleware that we've ever done. And it reduced it even further. Now, when you think about those charts, the second green dot, the second green bar, relative to the first green bar, is really nothing to be that excited about, with the exception of the fact that you saved a day and a half. A day and a half in the life of a researcher. A day and a half. And then finally, with Titan X, we're now able to reduce your turnaround time, your training time, from 43 days to just three days. Enormous, enormous speed up. It's utterly utterly life-changing. And I'm going to show you some other results in just a moment, but that tells you what Titan Nexus can do and is the reason why we do it. All of that, all of that in your hands, researchers all over the world, $9.99. Now, <laughs> that's right. For nine... <laughs> just think about that. $9.99. You'll pay for it in an afternoon. It'll pay for itself in literally an afternoon. Surely it'll pay for itself in a day. The most advanced GPU we've ever created, the fast, fastest GPU we've ever made, 12 gigabytes of frame buffer. Every deep learning scientist is craving for more memory capacity, and Titan X gives you twice as much as what we had earlier 
the 980, GTX 980, is now from 6 gigabytes to 12 gigabytes, all for 